my name is prema simjan and uh, we will learn sharding the important concept of mongodb sharding in this lecture so sharding is the process of storing data records across multiple machines and it is mongodb's approach to meet the demand of data growth as the size of data increases a single machine may not be sufficient to store the data nor provide an acceptable read and write throughput sharing solves sharding solves the uh, problem with horizontal scaling with sharding you add more machines to support data growth and the demand of read and write operations why sharding in replica set all uh, writes go to master node latency sensitive queries still go to master single replica set has limitation of 12 nodes memory can't be large enough when active data set is big local disk is not big enough vertical scaling is too expensive so uh, there is a important concept of what is vertical scaling versus what is horizontal scaling so uh, uh, that is a good concept to understand we can say difference between vertical scaling and horizontal scaling so before understanding sharding understanding this is a must so we'll just take a real life example so vertical scaling means uh, uh, so you started a company which has small data it just had uh, 100 customers then customer uh, grew to 1000 and then they become lack so as uh, your data load is increasing you can you started with 10 gb of data then you went to 100 gb then you went to 1000 gb 1 terabyte but uh, there is a limit so as you go up and up uh, it becomes more expensive and uh, uh, it it's not uh, uh, very uh, responsive if you just put uh, a load on one machine so this is a bigger machine previously let's say you started something on a small uh, laptop then you have got big server then you probably might have got very big huge server but then limit comes up so vertical scaling has a limit and uh, uh, to switch over also needs the shutdown of one system and migration of data however horizontal scaling means first you have one small laptop i am just giving you example of laptop you can imagine any small commodity server or any small machine then once data increases so instead of one you have put two so it's horizontal the machine is a, a cheap machine but instead of one you are having two now you are having three so you are horizontally scaling it up instead of replacing this cheap machine with a mid expense machine with a very expensive machine after that you cannot buy practically more bigger machine uh, because it reaches the limit however in horizontal you can buy as many as smaller machines and keep them uh, you know horizontally so they will uh, help in uh, sharing data and uh, uh, increasing the throughput basically in the responses request in response to the database the real life example is uh, you have a bus you have one driver so just imagine you are scaling up or we can say scaling vertically so you have one bus driver and you are making uh, uh, more people to sit as uh, your company gets bigger uh, instead of a single story bus you get two story now if more people will join your company your company is successful you might make a third story on the bus but after that you cannot scale up vertically because it's not feasible to add more stories there are couple of reasons once your bus will go under a flyover it might hit because uh, there is some permissible limit and then uh, controlling uh, or buying a big bus is very expensive because uh, if you want uh, a three story bus then you have to get rid of this two story and buy a new bus because you just have one driver so one driver will drive the bus and it would require three story so as soon as you go up and increase stories it's vertical scaling horizontal scaling is you got one bus which can make 20 guys sit in that if 20 first guys join your company you will just buy another bus and a driver until and unless you reaches 42 buses will run two independent drivers will 
take them uh, to wherever your company needs the you know employee to be picked up or dropped third uh, once uh, 41st employee or who, as soon as increases you can get more buses like that that is called as scaling out so more buses would be there uh, and uh, the only drawback is you need that number of train drivers to drive the bus but the advantage is that all these uh, buses can go independently if one bus breaks down then other buses are there to still to take passengers here and there if one driver for example dies there are other drivers to take care in the horizontal if one driver dies and everything is stuck so that is why uh, it is more preferable these days to uh, scale horizontally and uh, you know so coming back to the uh, this example that you are adding more servers to increase the capacity if one server unfortunately dies down your uh, database will still function in the appropriate same way with failover and everything here if one guy dies down everything is down so uh, that's what we just understood the concept of vertical scaling and horizontal scaling now we will try to understand what basically sharding is so uh, if you will see the example here uh, they have a application server which will uh, app server will route to the mongo as process like we have mongo d something similar this there is called as mongo as uh, service so mongo as service uh, uh, server will basically uh, it decides uh, which data will sit on which shard so what we are doing here essentially is if you will look at the example over here uh, you have five different small servers just imagine so one part of data might sit in this box one will sit in this box and accordingly so uh, you can just imagine that uh, uh, people uh, with uh, name from a to a will sit in this box b will sit in this box c so you are sharding it sharding key would be the uh, first alphabet of the name and whenever you have to retrieve data or save data we just talk to this guy and this guy might be replicated replicated means internally there are three copies of it so unfortunately if one copy get corrupted there are still two copies unfortunately for the b guy if uh, one server dies down uh, it is not performing then there are supportive replicated uh, sets there so coming back to this diagram uh, this is same that uh, this is a replica set which means this machine has three copies this uh, replica set has three identical copies of whatever you save here similar here so the use case is you have students uh, with a uh, name a to z and a will sit in one uh, shard of compartment b will sit uh, in there you can also make arrangements if you just want to divide it in uh, four ways so you can say a to uh, g will sit here and i to k will sit here whatever way you configure that way the data is shared and sharded across it can be retrieved and saved and uh, it's uh, very uh, fast basically and inexpensive so uh, just to summarize that uh, as data load increases you have some sharding key some mechanism so that you can divide and rule you divide the data to sit in different servers that is called as sharding and each sharded server has its own replica set which is the duplicated copy of that uh, which uh, is used uh, in the failover or to make it robust to do the faster reads and write and make it throughput as your data increases more you can uh, still add more commodity servers with the shard key so it doesn't uh, you know impact the existing uh, infrastructure or whatever stuff is running in there you don't have to shut down or anything while changing over that's how sharding is useful however in case of vertical uh, scaling up you might have to shut down the server migrate it to the new server in a bigger machine and then after you reach the limit you cannot do more here however in horizontal you can still add small small servers and you can take them out as well so uh, somehow the um, uh, if load reduces you can take some servers out to save some money but here it would be difficult uh, that temporarily you cannot take out some machine you if you have a big infrastructure you have to live with it
so i hope uh, you might have understood the concept we'll try to run this hands on and if you have any questions just uh, drop me an email thank you